Ooh, welcome back, loads of ladies. So, let's get this party started, shall we? <clears throat> Lunch break is almost over. I'd better hurry back to class if I want time to eat anything. I wolf down my food. <laughs> and brace myself for the next lecture. My dogs just went, uh, wait, is there another dog? Another puppy, puppy. <laughs> Today we'll be starting the next chapter. Open your box and turn to page. It's no good. My mind quickly wanders to everything Sophia told me earlier. Alex, he can't seriously be one of those infamous wings of light guys, can he? He's never shown the slightest interest in anything but animated girls. Oh well, I'll be seeing him today anyway. There's no use speculating either way when I can just ask him. I pack up my books say, a few minutes in advance, so the second the bell rang I can dash out of the classroom. I dump my school bag at home and change into casual clothing and then leave to meet Alex. Hey Alex, he does look like uh, he'd be some kind of pretty boy. Hey Ryu, glad you could make it. Hey Ryu, oh sorry, let's head over to the cosplay cafe. How did you con me into this again? Welcome back, Master. <laughs> Whoa, Master. I've never been addressed in that way in my life. It looks like I have a new Master today. That is correct. Ryu, this is one of the mage working here. I'm very happy you came to see me today, Master. And you, Master. May I take your orders? We'll both have today's special. I see. Two daily specials coming right up. What's today's special? Whatever they have lying around that's about to go out of date, probably. <laughs> that's funny. I like that. I'm kidding. The food here is really uh, good. In the meantime, just relax and relish the atmosphere. I'm not sure if I want to. Why not? It's pretty weird to have a girl your age following you around and calling you, uh, you her master, you know. Yeah, okay, it is pretty weird, but hey, at least she's cute, and maids are the best. At a glance, uh, I glance around uh, cautiously, taking in brightly colored posters and figures decorated, decorating the room. There sure is a lot of anime stuff. <laughs> I make a bland observation, trying not to stare at the other patrons. I wonder what attracts people to a place like this. Do they sell any of it here? They do! There's plenty of manga you can buy if you're interested. And they do enough business to install that expensive widescreen TV? I nod at the massive plasma television set up on the far end of the cafe. It is currently showing col um, brightly colored images of perky girls dancing to some high energy song. Big screens are vital to a, a cafe like this. Whenever an anime special airs, they always turn to turn it into an event. It's great to hang out with fellow fans and watch the drama unfold on a, such a nice big TV. Sounds like fun, I guess. Of course, anime events are fun, and the more people, the better. One time, I even went to a convention in Japan, and there were about half a million attendees. Wait, what? Wait, okay, are they not in Japan? Uh, now I'm lost. Wow. I didn't realize it was that popular. Yeah, the anime and the doujin industries are pretty huge over there. 
Here's your order, two strawberry sundaes. Please enjoy, Master. And you, Master. Thank you. Will you come again on Friday this week? You bet. I can't wait to see childhood friend win for once. I don't know. The Sundari is pretty popular. It seems like she might win this time. What on earth are they talking about? Seemingly oblivious to my confusion, the maid turns to hand me a card. Why don't you fill out this survey? You'll be entering into a uh, draw to win a collector's edition of Storyteller Storyteller's Eternal. Wow, that's pretty sweet prize. There were only a few hundred of them ever produced and really pulled out all the stops for this bonus. There's an actual copy of the Librum of Gods and even a working replica of Yuri's loot. Would you like to fill out one too? She hands Alex another card. Of course, the production values of that game are fantastic, and the characters designed are as incredible as always. I especially loved her art of the cat girl twins from the alien vs. felines. What the fuck? The attention on the detail of the ears was... It's getting harder and harder to believe this guy could ever land a girlfriend, much less be some sort of legendary playboy who falls for a guy obsessing over things like cat girl twins from Alien vs. Feline. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I guess there's no harm in asking. I fill out the survey, scribble down my email address and other contact information, then hand the card to the maid. Thank you very much, Master. All right, here's mine too. Alex hands her car the card back to the maid as well. Thank you very much, Master. Hope you both enjoy your Sundays. Now that the maid is gone, this is probably a good time to confront Alex. <coughs> Say, Alex, can I ask you a question? Sure thing. I heard you're a player. Well, of course, fighting games are awesome. <laughs> no, not that kind of player. I mean, like, you like picking up girls. Well, I have been playing a lot of dating sims lately. You need some advice on one? Sereri's route and uh, Sora no Sojo can be pretty tricky. No, 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 no. I meant in real life. Picking up real girls. Don't be silly, Ryu. The things that work in Galgas don't apply to real life. If you teased a Sundari, I bet she'd hate you. If you thought playing dating sims would help you get a girlfriend, you're sadly mistaken. Alex, listen to me. I heard you used to be a notorious pickup artist from a group called the Wings of Light. I need to know if that's true. I need... I need help. Ryu. Just listen, my friend Claire's boyfriend is abusing her. I have to make her break up with him. If you know anything about how to help her, I... Please, you have to help me out. You're serious, aren't you? Ryu. I don't like real girls. They're too much trouble. Anime girls are much simpler and less demanding. Right. He's not denying it outright. If he wasn't one of them, wouldn't he just say so and laugh it off? If he doesn't want to talk to me about it, I can't make him. But maybe I can still get him to help me in a more indirect way. So, if you were designing a dating sim, how would you make it more realistic? Hmm, that's a good question. Well, first I'd add a special stat called personal strength. Serious? Personal strength? What's that? It would represent things like your confidence and self-esteem. And if your PS is low, then you won't have a good conversation with your date, or you might have a few choices to improve your relationship. Okay, 
but how do you gain or lose PS? If you want to improve your intelligence, then you study. If you want to improve physical skill, you work out. But what about PS? Well, resting would give you a slight boost, but that's a pretty inefficient way of increasing your personal strength. Mostly, it's increased from successful social interactions. Hanging out with people a lot would be the best way to raise it. But saying the wrong things in a conversation will decrease your PS stat. But wouldn't that lead to a vicious cycle? If you had a low PS stat, you wouldn't have good choices to raise it. So you'd never get it very high. Hmm, true. That kind of thing would have to be balanced properly. But I think there are a few ways you could do that. Like... Talking to other people who aren't in romantic interests, for example. So, talking to your friends. Yeah, it's a little cliche, but you t typically have at least one character whose role in the story is to give you, give the player information. Talking to that player would help. An informant? Well, I have one of those already, though I don't know how much I can trust her. But I suppose it would be a game breaking, be green game breaking if you could just gain PS whenever you call up that character. I wonder how I could fix that. Okay, so having high PS would generally be a good idea. Yep, but PS stat would uh, have a cap like other parameters, but the limit wouldn't go up as easily as HP or MP would. If there's magic, why wouldn't there be some kind of recover PS ability? No way, that would be too easy. But maybe a few PS points would completely recover all of your MP. Personal strength is really like the key to everything then. You got it. It's a start, but what about the dating aspect? Okay, okay, so would you actually get on a date with a girl? <coughs> well, normally you would focus all your time on a girl, and eventually she'll start to like you. There should probably be more to it than that, though. More like what? If all you have to do is spend time with her, then it's too easy. But if you don't want to make it feel unnatural or too hard either, it's something that game developers are always uh, struggling to find the right balance between. I don't think we can work out all the mechanics uh, in one session over Strawberry Sundays. Yeah, probably not. We chat a little more about Dating Sims, various anime series before we uh, part ways. Oh man, this day has been a roller coaster. I'm already worn out, but I should probably check my email before I go to sleep. One new message. Hmm, let me see what we've got here. You were looking for me? The player. Body? So Ryu, I heard you were looking for me. What the? It's him. I once thought it was wrong to do these things. Hearing your story, I realized there are far worse evils out there. I've decided to lend you a hand, but in return, you will promise not to tell anyone about this. Do we have an agreement? In that moment, I realized my once sleepy little world was beginning to rapidly spin out of control. Oh, oh my gosh! Soccer River. I probably need to get that. Alright, well, I think that's it for this episode. So, if you lords and ladies enjoyed this episode, please leave a big fat like. If you haven't subscribed, come on and come subscribe. We have so much to do. So, I will catch you, lords and ladies, next episode. Bye bye now and enjoy.